Then there's a matter of the body protrusion, which is a very serious offense. That's a lie. Nobody body was protrusing. <laughs> so what happened to the boy in the red ganze that run when we stopped the vehicle? Oh, that one. Well, theme head was taking up about three spears for the school as them could have wall into. So me tell him say so must hang out the meadow through the window. <laughs> so you don't cancel them head pattern body. <laughs> theme head is more safe in body. <laughs> well, that take care of all the traffic offenses. Now for the more serious charges. More charges? What else me do? Assaulting an, an officer of the law and resisting arrest. Assault? Me? It's not you when you brought my foot. It's not me cause it officer. When you come to the car and tell me say must get out. And I was opening the door and then the second hinge drop half of the door and the door drop on your foot. It's not my fault. It's the car. Well, <laughs> since I can't charge the car, you will have to answer for it. <laughs> Officer, I can make it worth your while if you give me a chance. Dark street, man, I don't understand you. I can set you up. You mean like money? Yeah, man. Bribery? <laughs> <laughs> This list really getting long, boy. <laughs> you have anybody can bail you? Look here, now. I know influential people in high places. It not going, well, so. If I am wrongfully detained, somebody is going to pay for it. Whoa. That no lie. For the next few days, it's taxpayers that will pay for your meals and lodging. Come, empty your pocket. One chewing gum. One cigarette box with two butts. Half a steel bull and piece of cheese. <laughs> and one dollar ten cent. Nah, make you have a ball it out, so. <laughs> Hold on a little. You never see a hundred dollar bill in there. <laughs> you want to make a phone call? Of course. It's my entitlement. I know the law. I am entitled to one phone call. I'm entitled to remain silent. I'm entitled to have anything as a use against me. <laughs> but you know the law, good man. See the phone there? Eh? If I was you, I would have called my lawyer. <laughs> So wait, what um, You don't know a liar? Enough. But I uh, hunger um, considering which one I should call. We know about this case, you better. Oh. <laughs> you have a directory? Yes, man. Sita. Rox. I remember the name, but I don't quite remember the address. Look here now. You have a taxi fare I could borrow. <laughs> come back, come. All right, wait, wait, come wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me call the next one. Hello, Mr. Gatz. This is Oliver. No, 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 just wait. Yes, I am calling from down the police station. No, 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 man. I'm not in any trouble. But I'm going to need bail. <laughs> yes. I, Mr. Gatz, listen, man. If you don't go listen, I could explain it to you, you know. But, so we want to talk to the police, man. No, but I can explain it myself. No. The police can't talk to you now. Of course, he can't talk to me. Why well, he can't talk to me? Hello, Mr. Gatz. 
Constable Dibbles here, arresting officer. Oh, you're not Mr. Gats. Oh, Gatti. Oliver's granny. <laughs> oh. Well, on Gatti. Seems like your grandson will be here with us for a little while, you see? Take care. Go, <laughs> oh, Max. Bedtime. <laughs> Whoever hear from me lie about this. Come on, stop in nice and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> oh, I mean, I know nothing for people. In your new home. They are done. Officer Nibble. Dibble. Officer Nibble. <laughs> you leave me in here with these two seasoned criminals. Between now and a man in them we season you. <laughs> <laughs> you will feel right at home. No, officer! You can't leave me in here! Dimple! One boss, you don't like the company. Hey, what happened? We're not good enough. Hey, yes. So you're going like the first time you ask me for jail, sir? Like, say, you're an idiot. You bring anything? Like what? Like... Cigarettes. Money. <laughs> Books. Come on. No. Where you coming off? What are you two empty on them? I, I was bringing plenty things, you know. But I don't know where you the police constable to take them. I was bringing cigarettes, book, matches, cake and cheese, well, everything. Well, well, don't make, make, make it happen again. I promise. Next time I come in, I'm coming, I'm going to bring things soon, eh, yeah? yeah? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not coming here regular. He, he's like, we live here. We're going to go on for holiday, like Easter, Christmas, and them things. So what's your name? Knife. Bullet. What I'm calling you? Mad Max. Where you live? Adams Lane. Oh. So you remember the flyers Posse? No. Where your Posse name? Posse, Mr. Bullet. You know no Posse? <laughs> you are, you are staffers. No. Me have my Posse, Mr. Knife. What a rule. Round of me yard. Which <laughs> year on the country? Not South, East, or West. Central. <laughs> Move out of the spot. What? You're standing in the man's spot. Sorry. <laughs> but in my spot. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, excuse me. So where is my spot? <laughs> Your spot? You're bringing a spot here. Yeah? <laughs> No, but I was thinking that since I am in here, uh, if somebody could have lent me a spot that they're not using. <laughs> you come in here with it too long on them. <laughs> We're not even the house warming for your guests. Yeah. And you want a spot for borrow? So, so we are right when steer. We are we tell you to steer. In your uh, 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 hole. We tell you when to sit. And went to stand, went to sleep, and went to wake, and went to talk. Uh -huh, and, uh -huh, and, and went to squint. <laughs> uh, excuse me, please, Mr. Knife. But you, you, you're standing on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Not, not, nothing. But me only want you to know that. Me have a spare foot, you can stand up and get it. You said out to Claudette since you come in. Oh? Claudette. 